Hello everyone, welcome to the Broken Cast, everyone's favorite Tokusatsu podcast. My name's Aaron, and I'm your host for today. Well, tonight. And here and today, well, tonight, we're going to talk about Hero Boy. Tonight, we're going to talk about Tetsu Sentai. Tetsu, I think they were, wait, was it Tetsu? Yeah. Tetsu Sentai, or Tetsu Sentai uh, Go Sager. Or Ghost Age, you want to pronounce it shortly. <coughs> oh boy, let's, let's just go on. So I guess I'll talk about Adata first. Yeah, Adata's boring. I'm sorry, Adata's a bland... Adata's probably the most blandest Red Ranger I ever met. And that's the same one. And the last time I saw a Red Ranger that was so bland and boring was Tatia from freaking Time Ranger. And I didn't like Tatia or Time Ranger. <laughs> he made Keitaro from Lupat look like look like a good Red Ranger. We had Keitaro didn't do jack crap through the whole entire show. Lupat just getting pissed off or try to talk to his boyfriend Kai. He makes Gal Red from Gal Ranger look so innocent, and and all five of the Rangers and Gal Rangers. Are boring characters. Except for Gal Silver, I like him. But besides him, everyone else is just boring in that show. And we and we ain't talking about Wild Force now. Wild, we we were talking about Wild Force. How I feel about that show on this podcast. But back on saying, yeah, I was talking remind me a little bit of Takaharu, because while Takaharu is. It's not the best Red Ranger. Don't get me wrong. He isn't. <laughs> At least Takaharu has somewhat of a has somewhat of a character trait you can say from the ninja. But when I sat down for watch Ghost Sager, when, when I first saw Adapta, I'm like, okay, what the heck is his character? Still don't know what his character is because he didn't do G. <sighs> Half the time show, he didn't do jack shit. I'm sorry, but what the fuck is Adata's character? Oh my goodness, he is so bland as hell. Like, dude, for, <laughs> imagine if Daigo... Yeah, okay, let's say if Daigo... Let's see, who, who was another bland Red Ranger in the Heisei era? Uh, let's see. Who else can I say? Okay. Okay. Imagine if Daigo and, uh, Yosuke, Yusuke, uh, Yusuke from Hurricane Hurricane Red, somehow team up and created some kind of miracle baby. <laughs> okay, no, hold on. No, fuck it. Let's go with that. <laughs> imagine if, imagine if <laughs> Daigo... And Yusuke from Hurricane Jer somehow, or Yosuke, yeah, sorry, Yosuke from Hurricane Jer somehow made to somehow made to create some kind of hybrid. You get this guy, and we the reason why I say Daigo because listen, I love Kuryuger, one of my favorite sent, one of my favorite seasons of Sentai. But I'll be honest, with you, I like Daigo, but at the same time, I don't like Daigo. <laughs> Because you can because most of the time Daigo is just a Daigo is a good red all the other time. He just bland. And that's just me saying that. <laughs> but uh back I was saying, yeah, <laughs> imagine if Daigo and Yosuke made some kind of high right no, not Daigo. Let's take Daigo out. Let's say uh okay. Let's take a crappy Sentai, a boring Sentai, a bland genetic Sentai, side like Hurricane. Let's go with Time Ranger. We got a fucking, uh, we got a freaking, uh, oh, what else? Yeah, yeah, we got a freaking Tatia. Tatia, Time Red. Imagine if Tatia and Yosuke from Hurricane made some kind of hybrid. You get out of that, because my god. <laughs> Both of those Red Rangers are generic and bland. Don't get me started. And one of these days, I fear that we're going to talk about Hurricane Jer. And that's not going to be a good thing. 
But yeah, imagine if Tatia and uh y and Yosuke from Hurricane Jer Hurricane Red made some kind of hybrid. You get Arata, I my cuz I try to say I say I say it multiple times. Okay, what the heck is character in the show? Because like he doesn't have one. <laughs> He's like <laughs> it reminds me of Nagi from Nin Ninja. And Nagi doesn't have a freaking character in Nin Ninja. <laughs> and that's the sad part about it. He doesn't have a character in that show. <laughs> and don't get me started on Anata's beef with that with that one uh with that one monster in the War Star arc. War Star chapter because my god, that arc, that rivalry that rivalry I'll say was so generic and boring that it wasn't even that good. Like, I fell asleep watching it, and my eyes was hurting. My eyes were literally hurting so bad. I'm like, oh my god. Why is this Why is this so boring to watch? And it is. Like, I didn't, like, freaking care for it. It made the it made Taka hard beef with that one monster and Nin Ninja look way better than that. And the sad thing about that, I made a tweet last night on Twitter saying that Nin Ninja it disappears Sentai between between well, Nin Ninja, Gilsager, and Lupin. And we all know how I feel about Lupin on this on this podcast. I will take Nin Ninja over Dosager and Lupin any day, and I'm not taking that back. At least in Nin Ninja, it was somewhat, it was interesting, okay? I, it, it was somewhat interesting. I said somewhat, not all. It was somewhat interesting in Nin Ninja for the beef. But here, watching it in, here, here, in fucking Dosager, Arata. With his beef with that one monster. I'm sorry, I forgot his name. Let's call him Caterpillar. Let's call him Caterpillar Man. Okay. Caterpillar Man. Caterpillar. Caterpillar Man. Okay. When I had beef with the Caterpillar Man, it was just like, okay, what the fuck's going on? Okay, he had beef. But at the same time, it wasn't that, it wasn't, it wasn't that interesting. It wasn't. Like, I'm like, would they try to copy... Takaru and Juso be from Shinkinger. At least it worked there. Maybe on Samurai. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to talk about Samurai. At least it works there in Shinkinger. What the fuck's, what the fuck's going on here in Gilsage with this beef? It was garbage. At least tried to make it anti anticlimactic and make it somewhat interesting, but no, it wasn't interesting. It wasn't interesting. It was boring. <laughs> he was just, yeah. I thought, it, yeah. He was just like, uh, this is our Red Ranger. Okay, watch his character. Cause like, no offense. Ninety nine percent of the show, I thought really made me want to fall asleep and stop watching the show. Because he just he was just that bland. He was just that. Bland generic. Ugh. That says much. Hell, Zato from Dino Fury is bland. I don't like Zato, but I would take Zato over Arata any day. Okay, let's go on to the next character. Hyde. Oh, God, Hyde. <laughs> oh, wait, for starter. I'm gonna say that thing. I fucking hate Hyde. Excuse my language, but I fucking hate Hyde with a burning passion. You see, Hyde got on my nerves most like through the whole time, mostly through the whole time of the show. I'm sorry. Hyde got on my nerves mostly through the whole time of the show. Wait, really? Wait, really, Broku? Yes. And don't get me started, because... I don't know, let me say this. Uh, High's focus episodes are fucking awful. Are god-awful. My god. It makes the focus episodes in Nin Ninja... 
And and sadly, the focus episodes from Lupac, again, then, the Pack of Rangers don't have focus episodes. The show tried one more time, yet it failed. <laughs> it tried more for time, and those, it tried, it made both those shows, those, both of those season focus episodes look way more enjoyable than in here. And that saves much. Because High's focus episode, High's whole arc was basically him trusting a team again due to him losing, due to his own partner, Go Say Green, who's pretty much Sen, by the way. I mean, I didn't know that. Sen's actors Go Say Green in this show, and he died, like in a flashback. Okay, Sen just died. Okay. Well, again, then, again, then, Sen should be with Yumiko, not with Hyde, but whatever. Yeah, highest focus, highest focus episode, highest focus episode is based, his whole, you know, his whole arc is basically, is basically teamwork and all that, and mostly 99% of the show, he's just an asshole, like, he's just an asshole to everyone, my god, for freak's sake, for fuck's sake, and I thought freaking, uh, and I thought, <laughs> and I, <laughs> I can't even go say this. <clears throat> and I thought fucking, uh, I want to say Tetsu. No, I like Tetsu. <sighs> Who's an asshole I can say from from Sentai that, that gets on my nerves? Okay. And I thought Kaiza was annoying. Don't get me wrong. I hate Kaiza. I freaking hate Kaiza with brain passion. <laughs> And I thought Kaiza was annoying. No, this guy's second. My fucking god, hi. Your whole arc was basically trusting people due to due, due to you losing Sen. So his focus episodes are mostly about his flashback of him losing his partner that was Sen. And that episode where basically all six of the Ghost Sages, including Ghost and Knight, had to fight this one monster whose power was jokes. If you laugh, you get kidnapped by the monster. And that episode was just bland because they tried to make Gosei Knight and uh, <laughs> Hyde a comedic duo. And I'm like, okay, it's not funny. And apparently, bathroom make Hyde, apparently saying the word bathroom make Hyde laugh. I'm like, why is this funny to you? It's not even that funny. Hey, to come from me, and I'm a comedic person, I can make people laugh. But like, hi, you're not f hi. Shut, just shut up. <laughs> just shut up, hi. Just, just shut up. <laughs> My God. <laughs> and one, of, and one, of, and one thing. Not the sad thing. One of the sad thing about this. About the Ghost Sager. All f I was, I was at six. No. All five of the all five range out okay. five out of six of the Ghost Sagers have focused episodes. Wait, which one wait, which one doesn't have focused episodes? Adata. I look and like the only focused episode they give him is in the warship arc with his beef with that one monster. Other than that, the show just freaking forgot about Arata. He may, I mean, he's there, but like, he isn't doing much. He's just there. But back to High. Yeah, High focus episodes are shit. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm sorry, but High, you want High. Every time I see your face from now on, I want to slap you badly. Because, my God. I know I said that multiple times, but because, I know I said that multiple times. I know I said that multiple times, but for real though, Hyde made me so mad that I wanted to go outside my house and scream in my backyard and just said "f you, Hyde," <laughs> because for fuck's sake, <laughs> Hyde really got on my nerves. So. What can I say about High? Well, his focus episodes are shit. He he's annoying. 
he's not a good Blue Ranger. He's probably, he, he, probably, he actually is my least favorite character in the show. So, on to, on to the useless character of the show. The Pink Ranger, Aerie. Oh my god, I despise Aerie. Okay. Imagine if you get, imagine if you combine Amy from Kiryuger, Yumiko from Decker Ranger, and Natsuki from Bokinger. Imagine if you mix those three female airheads into one dull blend, one dull. Imagine you mix those three female airheads. By the way, let me say that. I like Amy. I like Yumiko. I like Natsuki. Yumiko's an airhead, yes, but yeah, at the same time, it worked for Decker Ranger. And Natsuki's airhead, too, for Bull Kingdom, yeah, it worked in there as well. Amy, yeah, uh, Amy's debatable, but, uh, but, uh, one of the things, one of the things I'll talk about Care User, why I like that show. But, uh, yeah, but, uh, back on the same. Imagine, at, imagine mixing all three of those characters into one dull airhead, into one dull doof. You get airy, because, my God, Airy is probably the most second annoying character in the show for me. For out of all the Rangers. <laughs> I mean, I somewhat enjoyed her book episode about her baking a cake. I like that episode. Also I also and I also like the episode about the about her being friends with that one robot. But her episode about her having so many dreams. I hated that episode. It's not just that. Aerie is just a fucking moron because my fucking god. This girl has zero brain cells inside her head. You like you talk to her and she won't fucking listen. She pissed off Molene in that one episode. How the hell do you not have a brain cell? And she talk about and yeah, in her argument with Monet, she talked about ice cream. I'm like, wait a minute, why are you talking about ice cream? But well, you were just, you. Were... So, <laughs> what's Monet's arc in the show? She doesn't have one. She's just the generic. She's just the generic blended. She's just the generic pink ranger who's an airhead. They really try to copy Natsuki and Yumiko from Bull Kinja and Decker Ranger. Say, hey, let me go copy off these two, these two female characters and put it in a fucking uh, area. It didn't do shit. It didn't do jack shit. Aerie's <laughs> just, Aerie's just a moron. That's just all I'm gonna say about her. She's just a moron. She's like. <laughs> She's like if May didn't have a freaking brain and saber, and I like May. May one of my favorite characters in saber, but I'm just saying, Aerie is way worse. <laughs> and the fact that I'll take saber over this, I'll all Toku. That's the sad thing for common writer I man. Now I'll take Ryuki, and I hate Ryuki. I'll take Pfizer Kiva, and I don't like oh well. Vice is debatable, but for Kiva, yeah, I don't like Kiva. Okay, okay. Well, we, well, we're done with we're done with uh with the moron herself, Aerie, because well, Aerie doesn't have a character. She's just stupid. So move on to the next character. Uh, so I talk about Molene. Yeah, I, talk, I guess I'll talk about Molene before I talk about Agri. Agri. Okay. Molene. Uh, what can I say about Molene? Well, she's sassy. She's a strong female yellow ranger, which I like. But at the same time, her episodes are... Her, her, her focus episodes are bad. Yeah, her focus episodes aren't that good. Like the, like the episode about her controlling her anger. The cheerleading episode. What episode was that? Like what? What episode was that? Like what episode? Like what episode was that? Like what? Twenty nine? Wait, episode nine? I think it was. And uh, the episode of her and uh, 
Aerie going to the beach. I think no. That episode was kind of funny due, due to the subplot. But besides that. <laughs> but besides that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Monet's alright. She's alright. She's generic. But at the same time, she's alright. I like her. But at the same time, I really wish that they I really wish they could have done her better. Because she's just generic. And she's just okay. Her, episode, her episodes are bland. I can't let that go. Her episodes are just bland. <sighs> and don't even start like like the episode of the monster re uh pretending to be her mom. Yeah, I didn't like that episode. It just show how hard headed she was. Mostly half the time of her show. Mostly half the time of her sh half, mostly half the time her whole arc was just her being a spoiled brat. And that sucks, cause I like Molinet, but still, she was just being a brat. While Ari was just being stupid. <sighs> yeah, Molinet didn't have good focus. Molinet was just alright. I wish they could have done her better. There's, there's, not, there's, like not to, there's like not a lot to say about her. <clears throat> so let's go to Agri. Okay, uh, okay, what do I think about Agri? Uh, ooh, my bad. Agri is, uh, what can I say about him? Well, he is the Black Ranger of the team. He is a, he is a, he is a jerk. Yeah, you know, he is an asshole at times to everyone, including his own sister, Monet. Agri's probably my uh, one funny. No, he doesn't. He he doesn't my favorite kid in the show. <laughs> but at the same time, his episodes are crap. <laughs> God damn, his folks episodes are crap. <laughs> oh my god, like. The episode of him mis the episode of the episode of the monster week putting a shell on victim that that mishear things that only had like negative stuff. Yeah, that episode was wait that episode was meh. It was just I don't want to say it was just meh. In the in the uh episode an episode of him, an episode of him uh, fighting that uh, gardener, fighting him, find that guy who wanted to want want uh Augie to garden his plants. Yeah, I didn't like the episode because that guy, that cause that guy was being creepy towards Airy. And they thought, oh okay, oh, okay, so Airy must remind him of Airy must remind him of his late wife who's died. Okay, that's the fourth and then sad. Then we find out, oh, she's not dead. And we find out, and we find out why he uh, kept Aria as a prize because he's cute and adorable. I'm like, dude, you have like, dude, you have a husband. Uh, I'm like, sir, you have a wife. Please do not be a creep to the to the young t to the young uh, teenage girl right here. And no, it's Japan, but still, it's disgusting. Yeah, they didn't like, yeah, like the episode. And don't get me started on the episode of him trying to, uh, him, him, uh, wor him, uh, trying to work out. I wouldn't say work out, but the episode of him trying to, uh, well, went into the Olympics. Yeah, his fucking episode weren't that good. <laughs> his fucking episode weren't that good. I rather take Nagi's. One focused episode from Nin Ninja than this. And that doesn't say much. I rather take oh, sorry. I rather take that one episode of Nin Ninja from Nagi Focus episode than all of the crappy focus episode on from Agri and Go Sager. Yeah, none of the Go Sager have good episodes. Except for Gosei Night, 
we're going to ghost tonight. Cause I, cause we got, we're going to ghost tonight. Cause I have a lot to say about him. Yeah, I agree. Is he's my favorite kid? He's my favorite kid in the show. But at the same time, I wish I could have done better. His fucking episode made him kind of useless and lackluster. Like he was just there. That's it. He was just there being the Black Ranger for the team. <sighs> so, uh, on to uh, Ghost and Knight, a.k.a. the best kid in the team. To, because, my God, Ghost and Knight is a badass, and I like him. And his theme song is awesome. Oh, my God, his theme song is awesome. <laughs> There's not like... I don't, have, I don't have like any. I don't have like any negative toward Ghost. Not not Ghost. To uh, Ghost Saint Night. I'm gonna say Robo Night, but no. I have like no negativity for uh, Ghost Saint Night. I like Ghost Saint Night. He wanted to know more about humans and all that, and and I like that. That I like. I like the that. Yet they made they made into a somewhat plot subplot in the show for his character and arc. Ghost Knight's awesome. I had like no negativity for the guy. Well, except for one. Uh, his debut his debut episode was awesome, but at the same time, it was kind of bland. And mostly, like, later down the line, half of the time in like late episode, he just felt like he wasn't needed. So it's also that. But, but other than that, yeah, I like Ghost and Night. Ghost and Night, Ghost and Night will all be my, uh, Ghost and Night will be probably my second favorite character in the show. <laughs> So, uh, let's go on to the villains, I guess. Uh, well, okay, the, okay. Speed round. The warship villains. The warship villains in the first chapter. They're boring. Second round. The, uh, the ma, the maho, the maho. What the freak? <laughs> the, uh, the pollution villains. They're way more enjoyable than the, they're somewhat they so oh sorry, hit something. They so they somewhat have a personality. Sadly, I mean they they somewhat have a personality in the second arc in the show. Somewhat I said, and, and that that doesn't say much because like my God, the villains the villains of the show are bland and just boring. Death. That's it. They're just boring. They're basically, basically the whole, all three of the villains' arcs in this whole show take over the world. Just basically, let's basically take over the world. That's pretty much what. It, that's pretty much what it is. That's pretty much what it is. just basic. Take over the world plot. What the freak? What the heck? I'm not watching Kabuto. <laughs> Did I just say this? But then Kabuto, pretty much. The whole plot at time it them taking over the whole entire world. Wait, anyway, hold on. Did anyway go for the show? Oh no, he didn't. <sighs> nah, he did. So, uh, the machine arc, the mach, the machine arc. Meh. Uh, so let's talk about Bujin because. I got something to say about Bujin. But Bujin. Why the frick did they pull Evo in the show? Before Bill was a thing. And what I mean by that is that. So, you know how. In, okay, spoiler for those who haven't watched Bill. X out this video. So, you know how in Build. And Comrade Build. The show basically said how much Evo manipulated three countries. Go Sager! Pretty much did the exact same thing. But to be fair, Bill came out after Ghost Sager. So that's also that. It just felt like a goddamn copy and paste. Again, then, again, then, Ghost Sager was original, Bill was a copy and paste. And this is coming from me, a Bill fan. Yes, I love Bill, my favorite season, I say it multiple times. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. It just felt, bo it just felt boring. 
Not boring. He got on my nerves. So basically, the whole entire plot just shows that there is the, there is the mysterious angel. That there's the mysterious angel. That is, that uh, somehow went missing. Well, I won't say missing, but there's the there's the mysterious angel that they feed the the Mahas a long a long uh, time ago. They feed the pollution villain a long time ago, and they find out oh it's Br it's Bridgian. oh it's Bridgian. He is the lost angel, and he basically said oh yeah after they feed the pollution monster pollution villain, the angels tried to steal me and. That didn't work, so I went back in time and, lip and manipulated the war, the war star villain, the war star, the war star, and uh, I manipulated the pollution people in this timeline, and the machines as well to get my power to become a god, so I can take over the whole entire world, including the heaven. So basically, it's just your generic take over the world plot, and that's just boring. And that's just, oh my god. How many times are we going to get this in Toku? Oh my god. How many times are we going to get Toku? Like, okay, you're basically take over the world plot. Really? Really? Because, fuck's sake, 99% of Toku is just take over the world plot. And that's just getting dulled and stupid. I swear to God, Ray Vice is doing this right now, and I do not like it. <sighs> oh my God, he felt like a freaking DBZ villain at times. Like, for fuck's sake. There are times in the show, he felt like, he felt like he's a Dragon Ball Z villain. He felt like he, he feel like a perfect cell was annoying. And I like Perfect Cell. He's one of my favorite DBZ villains. But my god. Belugian, Belugian, whatever the hell his name is. He felt like a fucking Dragon Ball Z villain. What's next? What's next? He gonna transform into his fifth form and suit multiple death beams at other time? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He, show, he shot death beams at other time. Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, Toby? What the fuck? Uh, yeah. Brid uh Bridge is just He's just He's really bo he's really <sighs> He's a can't say this. Well, ah, uh, he basically he's the prototype version of Evolt before Evolt was a thing. Because Evolt, while while I didn't like while I didn't like how Bill tried to give Evolt a redemption arc, like they tried, like they tried, but yeah, it didn't work. Bridgian is just on it's just a beta version. Of Evolt, but yeah, he doesn't have personality. His evil plan is stupid. And, the, and he wasted my time through a whole entire show. My fucking god. <laughs> did I talk about why? Did I talk about why I did not like on my loop hat review about how yet half the time that. Hell yeah, that show wasted my fucking time. Because Ghost Lady did the exact same thing, and I'm not happy. And Bridgian wasted my time. As well. Get this trash out of here. Who's next up? Uh, oh yeah, the dad and son. I like them. They're okay. The dad's funny. But yeah, they're okay. Uh, the robot. Uh, I forgot his name. Uh. He, he look, he's, he's okay. The mentor, who's way better than Gosei. Well, he's not a giant tiki head, so we're all good there. But, uh, he's okay. I mean, like, he's, he's there. Sometimes he isn't. So, let's talk, so, let's talk, so, let's talk about the mechs. The mechs, they're ugly. 
They're fucking ugly. Go say great. If go say great, probably the most boringest one out of them all. <laughs> and don't get me started on go say grand. The mechs are just meh. The mechs in this season aren't the best in my opinion. So the power up, Super Go Sager. I like it, but at the same time, too much gold. Too much gold. That's just me. And I like the theme song, because well, because well, it's sang by Psychic Lover. And funny enough, I looked up how many songs this guy wrote for Ghost Sager. He only wrote for one song, and that, for, and that is Super Ghost Sager. Yeah, no, no lie. No lie. It's true. It's actually true. <laughs> it's actually true. It's actually true. Uh, what else, what else can I talk about for this shit show? Uh, damn, this show wasted my time so many. This show wasted my time. Well, let me say this: If you like Ghost Sager, that's fine. That's simple. You can like this show. It's not for everyone. Matter of fact, every matter of fact, there are shows out there. There are shows out there that aren't for people, and that's understandable. You can like them. But for me, and me only, Ghost Sager got, not only Ghost Sager got me mad, it uh, wasted my time, and reminded me multiple times, it reminded me multiple times why I hate Lupat. <laughs> the plot is, the plot is fucking simple and generic and stupid. It can be, it can be freaking Freaking, it can be freaking easy to figure out in episode two. The mechs are horrendously crap. The Rangers aren't that good in the show. Their focus episodes are complete hot shit. While the theme song and ending is catch, while both the theme song and outro song is very catchy. That doesn't make up for that doesn't make up for how crap the show is. While this show had what while this show has like while this show has Gil Saint Night, which I like. He's the only one out of the main five that has that interesting arc and character. That doesn't say much about this show. You have a Red Ranger that's generic and boring as hell. You have a pink ranger who's a dumbass who who <laughs> every every would be that every would be that type of girl that will that will find something that will uh, that will listen to something but yeah it comes in one ear comes out the other and yet she will not listen to the whole entire story. You got high no you got a blue ranger whose arc is basically trust issue yet. But yet the whole show, tr the whole show, the whole show tries to show that so the whole show tries to show us that his trust issues are redeemable. But yet it's not because because he keep freaking moaning over freaking Sen dying. You got a yellow ranger who was completely felt like sh you got a yellow ranger in the show who got treated like crap and got wasted. Cause he had potential, but yes, yeah, he got treated like crap. And you have her brother, the Black Ranger, who didn't do jack crap. He, he did. He didn't do that much for, for crap in the show. And then you got the villain, who's basically a, a prototype version of Ethel, whose plot is garbage and stupid and bullshit as well. Mixing a little bit of a deep, mixing a little bit of Dragon, Ball, mixing a little bit of the Cell Saga in there. If you know why, you know why. Because my God, Bujin basically sell. <laughs> Let's see what else. What else? I guess that's it. So my final thoughts. Yeah, no, go say this shit. I'm sorry. I may be mad. This may be a rant. Well, excuse me, limits, but yeah, go say this crap. I never want to watch this show ever again.
And the sad thing, I weren't supposed to review Ghost Sage. I was supposed to re- I was supposed to watch Overdrive. But I said to myself, you know what? Before I go Overdrive, let me go watch Ghost Sage and get the hell away. I haven't watched I haven't watched Ghost Sage yet. I have to go to I can go off to Tokyo. So I sat down for three days, by the way, binge go Sager, and wasted my time. My god, the last time the last time I felt like wasting my time with like a movie was twenty eighteen <clears throat> when uh I was on a field trip. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> It was 2018, and I was on a school field trip, and uh, we saw the Grinch movie. You know, 2018 version. By the way, that movie is crap and shit, so don't talk to me about that. <laughs> and uh, I watch it, and uh, me and my friend, me and my friend, me and my friend sit down and watch it. Two of them liked it, me and my other friend didn't like it. It was bad. I told I told about, about two, I told two of my other friends like, and they said that they said that they said that I ha- they said that I have a horrible taste in movies. Now this was 2018, and since uh since, uh, since I'm not gonna say their names on here because well that's because well because, well I don't want to dox I want to say dox them but I don't want to bug them I want to say that as well but you know what I'm trying to say. <sighs> Let me say this nice and clear. If you like this show, that's good for you. You can like this show. That's understandable. But for me, I, as a critic, have my right to criticize for something that I like or don't like. And right now, I'll say the benefit now that Ghost Sager probably the most second worst Sentai on my list. Because it goes like this. You got Time Ranger, that's just number you got, you got Time Ranger at number three for being boring as hell. You got Lupat who's number two. And you got Ghost Sazer. I don't know. You got Lupat at number one. You got Ghost Sazer at number two. <sighs> Ghost Sazer is not a good show. This show this show I had the moment that this show, this show had potential to be somewhat di- interesting, but at the same time, yeah, it didn't work out. The writing's awful. The plot is pretty much the most easiest thing ever, and this make this make freaking Megaforce, the American adaptation, look like look like a saint. And <laughs> here's the thing about that: I don't even hate Megaforce, Super Megaforce. Oh yeah, we're brain passion, but regular Megaforce. No. This make look this look this makes Samurai. Power Ranger Samurai look like a saint. I fucking hate Samurai, by the way. I fucking hate that show. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. But I gotta say about the Grinch movie. I remember that uh I remember that uh me and my me and my, me and my one friend didn't like it, but we told two but we told two of our other friends and they like it. And they're, and they're like, you didn't like it, Aaron? I'm like, no, I didn't like it. And they said that I had bad taste in movies. I'm like, that's not even true. Listen, again, you can like this show. That's good. But for me, no, I didn't like it. I didn't like this. I didn't like this show. And this, and this, sh- this show made the 2018 Grinch movie look like the. Look like that movie's a freaking massive people. Yeah, no. That movie is complete garbage and ass. Ugh. I, I'm done ranting. So, I guess, so next time, tune in for my review on Power Ranger Operational Overdrive, a.k.a. The Making Bokinger, because, whoa, boy, you got a lot to say about that show. So, please like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Post my notification on for the next video. Probably be a tour review or a podcast episode. And, uh, yeah. Follow all my social media in the description. And, yeah, guys. My name is Aaron, or Boku, whatever you call me. And I'm out. Have a nice night.